When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember feeling? <laughs> oh my God, stop. I can't get emotional already. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I've told you this. Yeah. It was like, well, you know, I noticed you first the second you entered the venue. And I said, she can have all my babies. <laughs> and I remember feeling like a weight was just lifted off me. I was like, oh my gosh, like I felt happy again. Like, stop. <laughs> um, like, you know, when I met you. Yeah. Um, it was just a relief. <laughs> Stop, my God, the first question, this is too soon. You know, just like you, we were both recent out of a breakup. I, you know, it was a pride event. I thought I was just going out having fun with some friends. Then I uh, was not looking, expecting anything, just wanted to have a good time. And then I met you. I saw you from across the room and you were dancing. I was like, ooh, this white girl got some moves, okay. <laughs> so then, uh, you know, you were just very intriguing. Your energy was just different. Once we started speaking, it was just an energy that I just felt like I couldn't get enough. So it was just a very good feeling. One that I just, you know, wanted to have continuously. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. It was known. <sighs> How do you describe our relationship to others? I feel like our relationship, um, I feel like it's one of those relationships where you always aspire to have. You don't think it's real. And then not until actually being with you, I'm like, damn, like, I feel like I'm in a fairy tale because you give me everything that I always wanted to have in a relationship, but I just didn't know it was actually capable of like actually having. Like, obviously, you know, no one's perfect, but like you really are like perfect to me because literally anything I could ever want in a relationship, I get that from you. And I always felt like every relationship, you know, there's gonna be, you know, issues you have, whether it's, you know, arguments or, you know, little toxic things. I just kind of felt like that just kind of came with the territory. And mm -hmm. then you, it's like something fresh and it's just like, wow, like this isn't difficult. This mm -hmm. isn't a struggle. This is, it's again, it's easy loving you. It's, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I agree. So I guess I'm next, right? Okay. When do you think I feel closest to you? You're a Sag, and I feel like it's easy for you to be on that surface level, whereas the Scorp in me wants to like peel you back like an onion. <laughs> and I feel like there's been moments with, with or like topics around your family or my family that like you have kind of gone deeper, and I've seen the like little innards that make you you and yeah. the, the ways that make you navigate certain things. And I feel like those are the moments that I think that you would feel closest to me. Yeah, that goes into you just being very thoughtful. And there's moments when I'm not used to having support and then you're always there to give me support. So I always appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do our different upbringings affect our relationship? <laughs> mm. <laughs> A question. I feel like you grew up very different than I did. Mm -hmm. And that does come up often. Mm -hmm. Like we respond differently to things. Mm -hmm. We love differently. Mm -hmm. we, like we think differently. Like there's just a lot of different. Almost everything. Yeah, like yeah. we literally grow up complete opposites. Mm -hmm. um, even just certain things that you require and you need just in a loving, affectionate manner. I'm not used to just giving that because I never received that, you know, because that's just how I grew up. But I feel like that's a big one mm -hmm. emotionally yeah. and like the whole nurturing aspect of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I completely agree. Because even in the moments where I get frustrated, when you're like not, when, when we do have like disagreements or we're not like meeting each other, I know that you're never doing it maliciously. Yeah. Like I can always see at the end that like it was literally just a situation of us coming from different backgrounds, us being different people. Yeah and us not trying to like be malicious toward each other or be hurtful toward each other. It's just, we just needed to meet in the middle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's very hard to meet in the middle. Yeah. But you know, we work towards we it. <laughs> yeah. Is this me? I think so. I don't think know. so. I hope so. What, oh God. <laughs> okay. What is the pain in me you wish you could heal? Why are y'all doing this? <laughs> God. <laughs> I wish I could stop. I don't want to get emotional. I can't look at y'all. Um, I wish I could fix everything with your mom. And honestly, with your dad. That whole thing is like really hard for me because my family means a lot to me. And like, mm -hmm. you know, not having, or like seeing you not have that thing is really hard and like hearing about either from you or from your friends about how your relationship was with her growing up compared to how I've only ever seen it mm -hmm. is like shocking to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, which also makes it harder because it's not yeah. like you guys always had a bad relationship or something, right. you know? Like to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this drastic change has occurred yeah. over something that you're just a human and you just love who you love and I just wish that she could see that. Um, and then with your dad, that's just like wild to me. Like you're such a special person and I can't imagine, you know? Yeah. The fact that you don't have him is just like, it just blows my mind. So yeah, I wish I could just wrap that all in a little bow and like give you this like perfect loving situation that felt warm and welcoming for you to go back home to. Yeah. <laughs> and it clearly makes me very emotional. <laughs> There's no point in even trying to wipe my face. It's fine. Look at this. What does my love feel like? It's one of those things that you just can't put into words almost like empowering. Um, I really feel like with you, like I can accomplish anything. Um, damn, I feel like I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, shit. <laughs> um, damn. Um, I feel like you've changed my um, thought process. Uh, I've always looked at things like the glass half full but there are times, you know, where I get very stressed and it's very hard for me to see over me being stressed. And um, you've allowed my mindset to just be like, okay, like, cause you said to me before, you're like, I don't know why you're stressed. You're like, you always, like you always come out on top. And it was like something like so simple, but literally ever since you said that, if you know, I have not been really stressed in a while, you know, <laughs> yeah. and that's part of that. And like, that just kind of shows like how this love is. It's just like, you just always make me feel like the, you just make me feel like on top of the world. You make me feel like nothing else matters. Like it's us against the world. I always feel like you're like my person, you know, and I feel like there's nothing we can't accomplish, nothing we can't get through. I feel like it's like euphoric, like, you know, it's just being with you. It's just a feeling. I just really, I, there's like no words to really put on how I feel because I just feel like the words don't exist. But I feel like our love is very beautiful and organic and just so natural. Mm -hmm. And again, easy. Mm. It just, Which is weird, because it's easy between us, but it's not easy in like yeah. a greater sense. Yeah, it's a lot, almost. Yeah, like even, it's like, even within our family. Why is it it's so like easy? It's, it's, right, yeah. it's like something that has been so hard for me, it's just so easy with you. Mm -hmm. 
and it just I think it allows us to be our like best selves and mm -hmm. have our best relationship because we consider each other we care yeah. about each other you know we're very intentional with you know making sure the other person feels heard and loved and all mm -hmm. these things so yeah that's crazy yeah if this were to be our last conversation, what's something you never want me to forget? <laughs> um, no, um, I <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> it's hard to like nail yeah. it down, you know? Um, how much you mean to me? I feel like I've told you before that I never thought I would come out to my family. Um, I knew that like this love meant enough to me to potentially like put those relationships in jeopardy. And I was um, fully committed to doing that and like fully ready to do that once I... I I kind of even didn't really want you to because of that. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I always just want you to be good in every aspect. Yeah. So it was like something I was like kind of dreading. Yeah. Especially to share it with your, your dad. Yeah. And it taught me like, okay, Whitney, you need to be an adult. And like, and it's okay. And that was the biggest thing too, is like, mm -hmm. Whitney, like you're so upset about these things, but like, it's okay. Like this part of you is not a bad thing. Right. And then I would just want you to know that I love you more than anything. <laughs> you want me to answer that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, same. I would just let you know I love you and that you mean the world to me and that it's nobody else I would have wanted to do this with other than you. Good. I love that. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know how hard it's been for me to sit across from you and not, and like, not be touch touching me. you? No. <laughs> Very difficult. 